I'm Anna Garcia right now on a special edition of True Crime News. Shout out PNB, bro. Rest in peace, dog. He was a rising hip hop star from Philadelphia who performed with Ed Sheeran and Chance the Rapper until the artist known as PNB Rock was gunned down while eating lunch with his fiance. Damn, bro. A True Crime News exclusive never before seen surveillance video oh, at the shit. time as it unfolded. The father and son suspects trying to cover their tracks. Oh, wow. Was it pre planned or a robbery gone wrong? I sit down oh my God! He's gonna get justice. To get exclusive new details. He sets it on fire blocks away from his residence and walks back home. What PNB Rock's fiance, the mother of his daughter, told police after he was murdered right in front of her. <laughs> he was on it. And there's finally. I mean, for you shouldn't have posted your location, bro. Starts right now. Like. It happened to Pop Smoke because he posted his location by accident. You would Hi, think, maybe let me not post my location to see because this shit might happen again. P and B Rock, a hip hop artist from Philadelphia, or post it when y'all get home. While having lunch with his fiance here in Los Angeles today, True Crime News has exclusive, never before seen videos and interviews. All these horses in my car, I'll be going fast. Really happened that day. Who the hell? Oh, this is terrible CCTV. A camera lens is trained on a restaurant parking lot and also inside. This Ooh. footage recording in real time a major heist and murder about to go down. So they had this surveillance tape the whole time? A spontaneous stop Yo. at an iconic Los Angeles restaurant collides with gold green see there's a nigga there that knew him and just gave him a fist bump like bro why can't you just be like that bro ending in carnage and why do you gotta be a ym dog rising rap stars lying in a pool of blood he was a guest in our community and was gunned down gunned down by cowardly act he was P and B Rock, a Philadelphia rapper with a loyal and was... following and a taste for extravagance. His real name was Rakim Allen, but he fashioned his stage name Rock. after the streets where he grew up. P and B Rock was paying homage to his neighborhood, and Pastorius and Bainton was the areas of the streets in which P he and B. So he came up with the name P and B Rock. Oh, that's Richard fucking sick. I never knew that. Like Rolling Stone's 10 new artists you need to know and Double XL's freshman class of 2017. Shout out Kyle. Artist, Shout out PNB. Shout out X. Oh my gosh. And rap. And that's something that a lot of people couldn't do. I think Ski was in that too. Tyrone Dubois says PNB was a master at meshing music genres. How significant was it mm -hmm. that he came from the Philadelphia All area? these causes in my he car, we going first. was based upon the one thing that very few people are able he to He had do. this song with a... Rise from the ashes a Boogie, I think it was called Rose Gold. Life, turn into something that positive. shit was so... That used to be his one of my favorite songs. Was tightly linked to the energy of the and I think it had King Von in it. learned about violence early on. His father... Oh, uh, Beast Mode! Based on a gang I go Beast Mode! His older brother was murdered. I used so to love that song too. Uh, experience death at like early every age. single day I played Beast Mode even to the point my mom started liking that song you don't even like rap <laughs> it ain't right but he'd push past the grief and pain through music he started off selling out of his trunk and then becoming noticed and observed P and B landed this should be sad like come on hit songs like issues which showcases his love of expensive jewelry as the money poured in the rapper often showed off the rewards by posting to social media mostly highlighting his love for expensive jewelry yeah. a love that would ultimately cost him his life Fucking yes, okay, YNs, bro. Not for bragging, but for, you know, celebrating yourself, celebrating your wealth, celebrating the success that you've made in the industry, which I do believe made him an instant target at that particular time. It's the same thing that could have happened to fucking 12, Rage, bro. I gotta stop popping out with all this jewelry, bro. People get jealous when they see people with nice things, bro. Roscoe's in South LA. Yeah, two watches, several chains. 
rings on his fingers, and these are not just costume jewelry, chains that, you know, do gain attention. For those who may not know, where they chose to eat is not a celebrity haunt. This nope. is where you go when you want to fly under the radar. Absolutely. Uh, I said, quite frankly, a half million reasons, a half million dollars worth of reasons to come and take advantage of this young man. PNB Rock and That's Stephanie so have been partners for years, visiting LA for a business meeting and to celebrate an engagement party for fellow rap star T Grizz. T Grizzly, where the partiers compared their assets on social media posts. I was, oh my God. She didn't have to say assets. She could have said jewelry or watches, bro. Cause I thought, I thought she said they compared their asses. Oh my God. That would have been wild, bro. Oh, man. But PNB Rock and Stephanie dressed down to head to Roscoe's, and Stephanie had raised concerns about him wearing so much jewelry in a restaurant. He declined, telling her, "It's in God's hands." No way you said that, dude. This surveillance footage shows PNB Rock and Stephanie walking in. It's lunchtime, 12:28 p.m. As they wait, a man seated to the right fist bumps the rapper, but the couple is quickly taken to a table. It's the waitress sad, can later be seen bringing their food. Stephanie posts a photo of their meal to Instagram, geotagged and geotagged it. Look, I'm not I'm not in any way saying this is her fault. I'm not in any way saying this is her fault at all. But you should have just waited till you got home, bro. This is something that, like, I know a lot of people don't believe that I'm from the hood, or but I am, okay? This is something that I've learned in the hood when I was at a very young age. My mom always told me, if we go on vacations, if we go out of town for a few days, leave the lights on, and don't post pictures of your vacation until you get back home. Why? Why? Because if you posted pictures of your vacation before you got home, niggas knew you wasn't home and you might return without shit in your house. <laughs> like, bro, it's, it's actually a thing. And it has happened to us a, a few times. South L.A. location. But what they don't know, outside in the parking lot, a plot is being hatched to rob the rapper of the half a million dollars in jewelry that he's wearing. Although it was 1230, I think this was like a Tuesday. This was not a day that you would think that you need to keep your head on the swivel. For a celebrity. Or alert to crime or someone trying oh. to jack me, rob me, steal from me. But at 116 it's PM, always It always happens on quiet days, guys. When it's way too obvious that somebody can do a crime, that's when nothing happens. Unless it's a YN party, because then fucking shots always go off. Walks inside, ready to score. Well, like, bro, a packed club, nobody's going to commit murder in a club, bro. Because they know they're going to get caught. All them damn witnesses. notices the commotion and flees. Seconds later, PNB Rock is shot. His fiance, Stephanie, restaurant patrons, and employees watch in horror. Others flee. 1.22 p.m. LAPD officers arrive on the scene with. Was that nigga on his actual, like, personal phone? PM. Nah. LAPD officers arrive on the scene within five minutes. They attempt to save the rapper who is still breathing. Three bullets. Oh my god, they got here. They got there in five minutes and he still didn't make it, bro. Ripped through his chest and back. The crime scene, a mix of blood, jewels, and the gun PNB Rock had stored in his belt, resting on the table. Standing in the doorway of Roscoe's, a traumatized Stephanie carries her phone, but as she runs to join PNB Rock in the ambulance, LAPD officers escort her to their car. Stephanie is soon at headquarters. This answering is not questions. it. He didn't Can make it. Okay. Damn, bro, this is. We're back this is actually More mad sad to watch, bro. Investigation into the murder of Philadelphia. But they got never before Ooh, seen wow. before before seen shit and like more information about it. I'm actually very curious. LAPD is on scene at Roscoe's in South LA, where bullets had been flying just minutes before. No, 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 no. 
Philadelphia rapper P and B Rock has been shot three times and oh, is barely holding on as seen in exclusive footage obtained by True Crime News. I don't think I want to see that. Please don't show that. Officers pulled the I know you said exclusive back never before seen shit, but I don't think I want to see him lying. To be P and B's diamond pendant from his necklace. Oh my as gosh, the diamonds are gone. P B's diamond pendant from his necklace. As cops work the scene, word quickly spreads. P and B Rock was dead, and the questions begin. A murder occurred following a posting on Instagram or social media. The posting of that may have led to these individuals learning where he was at. Social media use. <laughs> they, I'm not gonna lie, they, they, they got on her ass about this, and. Rightfully so, but like you didn't need to be this rude because it's like, yes, she should have waited or she shouldn't have done it. But like, it's it's not like she tried to get the nigga killed. Like when the people were saying like, oh, you did this on purpose to get his money and shit. I was like, y'all niggas are disgusting, bro. Users immediately start blaming Stephanie's geotagged Instagram post showing her meal. <laughs> this is my fault. Oh, my God. Stephanie. Ex blames and this is my point. It's probably eating away at her that she knows that, like, the geotag is probably the reason he died. So niggas being in the comments like, oh, it's your fault. Oh, you're just a, you're just a fucking uh, gold digger who wanted him dead for his money. It's like, no, nigga. Yes, she could have done something different. She could have waited till they got home or she could have just not did that shit at all. But nah, it's not. Come on now. Herself is seen in this police interview video hours after the murder. I'm gonna sit down and eat. See ya. It was low key, there wasn't no one in there. When we posted the chicken and the waffles. This is um, unfortunately happening way too often. Just two years earlier, it happened to pop. That's what I said pop earlier. Smoke was robbed and killed in the Hollywood Hills after thieves learned his location from a social media post. Nicki Minaj posting on X after Pop Smoke, there's no way we as rappers or our loved ones are still posting locations to our whereabouts. Stephanie, I wouldn't sit here and blame you, so you guys did wrong to outs. See, and that's my thing. Cause I said the same thing. It's like after what happened to Pop Smoke, we sh yes, I agree with her. At this part is like yes, I don't know why we're still posting our locations and stuff like that, especially if we're still there. I understand it, uh, but like the people who were jumping down her throat saying like, "Oh, she's a gold digger. This is her fault." Blah 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 blah. It's like, come on now. Our loved ones That's disgusting are still shit. Posting locations to our whereabouts. Stephanie, I wouldn't sit here and blame you. So you guys did one too. That's a lot of jewelry on. Yeah, I told him to take it off. As Stephanie replays the track, like I said, moment. like in a in a perfect world, it shouldn't matter that a nigga wants to wear his jewelry and go out with it. But again, we live in this world where it's like niggas are very envious of other niggas' success and would rather take from what uh, what somebody else has opposed to trying to get their own shit together. It's just the world we live in, man, and it's it sucks, but it's true, bro. As for cops, she is pleading to understand what happened to P and B. My text messages, everybody's saying sorry for your loss. What is the media saying? Is is he okay? Nearly sorry for your loss. No, passes. he's gone. I'm sorry. He passed away. She appears to be in shock. No, she's definitely in shock. <laughs> but as cops continue their questions, they soon learn from Stephanie herself. Someone in the restaurant that day seemed suspicious after spotting P&B's bling. How did they know you guys were in there? Besides the posting of anything. Like and and I, I think that's another reason why we, like, I, I don't think it's okay to be jumping down her throat. Again, I go back to saying, yes, she shouldn't have posted the location, especially while they were still there. 
but I don't think they should be jumping down her throat, making it seem like she wanted him dead or, you know, that she's a bad person. Because there is the possibility that a nigga saw him in there with all that jewelry, called their boys up and was like, hey, man, let's 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 hit a lick. Like, that is still a possibility, bro. It like just because she posted, it doesn't mean they found her location and robbed him. It could have been from the niggas who saw him walking down the street, from the niggas who saw him in the store. Like, it's. There's so many, it, like, so many possibilities on how that could have happened. Thank you. Before Love long, you. the deputy DA confirms their investigation shows PNB was set up, and Stephanie's post had nothing to do with it. In that photograph was only the food. Had nothing. PNB long, the deputy. The posting of anything. Felt like he got set up. Before long, the deputy DA confirms their investigation shows. PNB was set up, and Stephanie's post had nothing to do with it. In exactly, bro. Exactly. So all y'all niggas, like, there that was on her ass in the internet. It's like, come on, bro. Items. She shouldn't have did it, but there's the still possibility. And they they even proved it with the investigation that it was a setup. It wasn't anything with the post. Time to orchestrate a plan. Instead, it all started with a man named Tremont Jones. Does anybody know who they are when they walk in? Immediately, Tremont Jones, the gentleman who was sitting right inside the door that fist bumped PNB <gasps> He's the one who did it. See? Niggas want to be so quick to be like, oh, it's her fault. It's her fault. This nigga, if she, even if she didn't post that shit on social media, this would have happened. Knew who he was. Tremont Drone loiters at the Roscoe's. That's just his hangout spot. Detectives soon gathered hours of surveillance video that pieces together exactly what happened in the minutes leading up to PNB's murder and after. From the moment Tremont walks outside, he alerts another man named Freddie Trone to come to Roscoe's. Prosecutors say they acted like two old school gangsters. So how is it that Tremont Jones tells Freddie Trone who and what is going on? The information was relayed, who and what, and the opportunity to get maybe half a million dollars is sitting inside this restaurant. It wasn't the first time PMB was Crazy. targeted in LA. He talked about it with podcaster DJ Academics <laughs> over Not a week app. before the Roscoe shooting. You know, a so week? DJ Academics over a week before oh, the over Roscoe week. shooting. You know, over somebody tried me on Fairfax, like mid pandemic. Is gangs out there on Fairfax? LA is like they bold. At Roscoe's, surveillance cameras record Freddie Trone arriving in the parking lot. He and that's why he needs a gun. Jones. They're speaking, and at this point is where my position is that the conspiracy was triggered. Trone leaves, but quickly returns with his own 17-year-old son. The son is dropped off. He exits the rear driver's side, and he has a full face covering and this very distinctive purple Rudy Pebbles shirt. Cops say Tremont Jones stays outside as the teen brushes past him. Once he's inside, Tremont Jones knows plan is in action. And at that point, we are seconds away from seeing a muzzle flash captured inside a very grainy camera inside Roscoe's. Stephanie recounts the horrifying minute by minute details when the 17 year old approaches them. As soon as he walked in, he pointed the gun at his thumb. He said, Give me all that. Shit, or I'll shoot you right now. And he just started shooting him. He took his rings off. Necklaces off. Took his two watches off, and he made me take my watch off. He said, "Give me that right now! I swear to God, I'll shoot you in the head." It was so scary. Before he flees, the teenage so bro didn't even give him an opportunity to take his shit off. He just told him, "Take your shit off. Give me all that shit, or I'ma shoot you." And then shot him. Can be Insane. seen snatching diamond jewelry from PNB's body. Prosecutors 17, bro. Now you, now you going to jail for Trone fucking life. Outside in a waiting car and Premeditated all the murder, suspects bro. made a quick getaway. Rapper PNB Rock was only 30 years old when he was shot to death during a robbery. We continue now with our exclusive investigation into his murder.
In Philadelphia, fans of rapper PMB Rock gather in the neighborhood where he grew up, dancing to his music and celebrating his life. And Los that Angeles so police sad. are on the trail of his killers. This surveillance video shows Freddie Trone and his teenage son walking near their apartment minutes after the shooting. The son has changed clothes and not long after tosses a bag into a dumpster. You think they? Why are we blocking his face, nigga? No, we need to see his face. Evidence. As far as the shooter, yes. Early the next morning, cops say Freddie Trone leaves the apartment and torches the getaway car. The same car seen picking up the hitman at Roscoe's. This so is that crazy. Car is the Buick Enclave. He sets it on fire blocks away from his residence and walks back home. Investigators Nigga, learned it, the car that's is so registered. dumb. Did you take the license plates off, bro? Because the back is fine. It's just the front that's on fire, bro. Did you take the license plates off? Also, you set it on fire blocks away from your house? Nigga, I would have set that shit on fire in a different fucking city. And then called an Uber. To Freddie's wife, Sean. And, and what I mean is I would have set that shit on a random street in a different fucking city. Lit that bitch on fire. Walked to like a, a, a location really far from there. Probably like a 30, 45 minute walk I probably would have did. And then called an Uber, bro. On Teltrone. Soon, but Chantel then again, I'm, I wouldn't ever even really do nothing like that. I'm just saying you got to be smarter with shit like that. That's so but fucking Freddy stupid. You set that shit on fire blocks found. away from your house. The block is hot. He's of stupid. Course, he's wanted now. His face is now on Internet beside PNB Rock. Freddie flees to Las Vegas. The DA says his girlfriend, Wynesha Evans, drives him out of town. Vegas. The DA says his girlfriend, Wynesha Evans. Oof. Oh my God, diabolical shit. This drives him out of town. So that's where I call her side chick, but Miss Evans rents a vehicle and she drives him to Nevada. But before long, Trone is captured. LAPD homicide investigators head to Vegas and grill him as heard in this exclusive interrogation audio. He goes by PNB Rock. This is the case that we're investigating right now. That's really unfortunate. God bless that young man's soul. Freddie denies he and his wife are involved in the Roscoe's murder. God bless murder. that young man hey, so fuck. Hear this guy, my because son, did it. Why did he hurt? You're in here for murder. For 187. But cops for 187. Can see like he know police code, girl. <laughs> to the heist and murder through the hours of surveillance footage. Trone, Tremont Jones, his wife and girlfriend, along with his juvenile son, all face charges. One thing Why did they say juvenile gunman? Nah, 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 nah. We need, to we need this nigga's name and we need his face. Um, Freddie Trone said on the stand that I really highlighted is he himself said his son was dangerous. In a Los Angeles courtroom, Freddie Trone is convicted of murder and robbery. Tremont Jones is found guilty of robbery and conspiracy to commit robbery. Freddie's wife, Chantel Trone, pleaded no contest to accessory after the fact. And Wynesha Evans pleaded guilty to accessory after the fact. Shit. Did you ever find the jewelry? No. Did you find the murder weapon? She got, she probably got a deal. Uh, so you got a conviction Both of without them. a murder weapon. No murder weapon, um, no property recovered, nothing. Justice was served. Wow, they got a conviction with without evidence? That's crazy. B. Rock's family and his fiance, Stephanie, who called him their shining light. This shit sucks. When we come back, PMB Rock's mother reacts to the verdict, plus the latest on oh, the 17-year-old accused of pulling the trigger. Is he going to jail? Ooh, I really wish he turned 18 before While they caught him. has been served for four of the five people involved in PMB Rock's murder, the alleged gunman, who was 17 at the time of the killing, is being held in a juvenile facility after a judge ruled that he is not competent to stand trial. PNB Rock's heartbroken mother, Deanna Allen, spoke outside of court shortly after Freddie Lee Trone was convicted okay. of her son's murder. Well, we are just very happy that we're getting justice because Rock Kim is so solely and sorely missed by his family and, and especially the young people in my family. Like our, my, my younger nieces and nephews, they really are devastated and they looked up to him so much as a hero to the family 
And now that he's gone, they, they're, they're so sad they don't know what to do. That's it for today's True Crime News. I'm Anna Garcia. <sighs> I really, like, fuck, man.